Hi everyone, it's Raja and Raven, and you're watching this week's episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review! We are going to be tooting and booting the looks from the main stage of season 9 of... <gasps> This uh, episode is all about the girls going onto the runway and representing some of the most icon iconic gay images. Five contestants left on RuPaul's Drag Race. The Five. gayest ball ever. All vying for that one position as winner of the season. Season nine. This is one of those challenges where there's three different looks. And as you know, this is very hard to do when you have to do three different looks. And the time constraints. So their challenges were to come up with one outfit that was all rainbow themed. Mm -hmm. Second look was unicorn themed, which I love. I wish I had that challenge. I would have killed unicorn. And the very last one is the village people. First up, rainbow look. Rainbow, she better do. We have Shea Coule, and she is serving her rainbow realness. Oh. Shay, I'm gonna text you and I need to know who made that dress. If you made it, then you should just give it to me because I love this dress. I love the idea of graffiti printed fabric. Mm -hmm. I believe that looks like it could be neoprene or something. I don't know what it is, but it's got such nice shape to it and structure yeah. that I don't really quite see a lot with drag uh, outfits. And this is what I really fucking love about Shay is that she has a good arsenal of great designers that's within her neighborhood in Chicago and yeah. New York. And, there's, and she sews as well, from my understand. So I love this. And I love the little splotches of paint as a yeah. touch. And I love that on her really nice, warm, dark skin to see those splotches of bright color. It really looks successful, amazing, fantastic, rainbow, the house down two. I love the shape of this. And I bet you it, love the hair, I still too. Well, you know I love that mm -hmm. hair, bitch. But I love the way that the seam mm -hmm. looks like it kind of goes around mm. the dress. It creates this really As weird... wrapping around yeah. her. Mm -hmm. I love it. Mm -hmm. I fucking love it. Motherfucking tubes. Next, we have Sasha Velour. I love this. I do, too. See, this is how I relate to Sasha. She really knows what she's talking about creatively and artistically. She really, really has a great reference point to everything that she does. But what I really relate to her most is her ability to use color blocking. Yes. You know, it's got a very graphic kind of uh, late 80s, early 90s kind of graphic quality to it. It's very punchy in color. Mm -hmm. I think she looks amazing. I love the idea of having separates too. Like instead of like gown all the time, like she's able to just have like a top, a skirt, a sock, uh -huh. a shoe, a boutonniere, a hat. And then on top of all that, there's a surprise underneath. Sitting right on top. Not only did the house fall on her, but she decided to wear it on her fucking head. Love this. The one thing that I wish was just a little bit different was either the tights or the socks were a different color. Because mm, from the waist the down, it's all shades of red. Right. And then when you take the hat off, it has all those beautiful different shades of the rainbow of sure. plumes. Sure, sure, you sure. You kind of lose a little bit of that. Like, yep. I wish the socks would have been like purple. I see what you mean. I think it kind of stops at the calves and then you kind of lose interest. But overall, the whole fucking thing, the whole thing is a two. Two. Two to Sasha Velour. Next we have Alexis Michelle. Alexis Michelle. This is very rainbow bright. Like to me, it looks very fun, funky. Cheap. Cheap? I, okay. It's rainbow. It fits her well. I can see what you mean by saying that it's cheap, but I love that there's two different types of fabric. She's got the animal Where's print. Where's the two that you see? Because I only there's see one. There's animal I see print, one rainbow. Okay, there's that. Wrapped around her hair okay. and am, am, rainbow print, animal wrapped around the okay, waist. Okay, 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 okay. But then there is just that one whole bolt of fabric. Bolt. And it, when you're coming off of someone like Sasha, who was like, I'm gonna do it like this, this does look kind of cheap. It's just not clever. It's like so fucking literal. It is not the coolest rainbow fabric I've ever seen. I've seen rainbow mm. fabric in different patterns. It literally is just standard rainbow. She looks like one of those candies that you get when you go to the amusement park that kind of come in a little swirly, like a little stick. Oh yeah. And you know what she should do with that stick? Show Change that right. outfit. Uh -huh. <laughs> what if she would have made like a full body suit with like a hood, a mask, just shapely, with like some crazy thing coming off the head? Do no. you like that more? No, no, I still don't no, like no. Even the execution of this part right here, that little like, 
I'm going to make my make it look a little special, so I'm going to put a safety pin right here. That's you know, that's kind of like our toot and, boot, toot and boot tricks, which is fine when you're in the basement of World of Wonder, but when you're on the fucking main stage, no, 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 I just, I don't see this. I think it's just kind of like, boot. I give it a Next we have Trinity the Tuck Taylor. Yes. Um, this isn't one of my favorites. I do like that it is a different use of the rainbow. Mm -hmm. She's using different straps. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, it's just to me, something about it's it. It's the shoes. And with the outfit above, like the whole thing here has like this sort of like fetishy feel. I just feel like it needs another fetish moment. Maybe a higher heel, a platform heel, a boot, or a colored shoe, or something. Everything else is fierce. I know. And if I were to go off of a percentage basis on this outfit, I would say that about three-fourths of it is amazing, and then there's that fourth piece that just doesn't work for me, which is the shoe. So, you are gonna give this a toot or a boot? I'm gonna give it a toot. I'm gonna give it, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to give it a toot because it is a, a, a different way of interpreting the rainbow. Yeah. You know, and I like that there's all the colors there and it kind of feels a little bit spacey. And they're a little water. brighter. Mm-hmm. More like a neon. And her body looks fantastic in Always. it. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for me, this is a toot. I like this a lot. Toot. I'll give it a toot. And last in our rainbow looks, we have Peppermint. I really like the bodice mm -hmm. under. Love that. This. I think that's beautiful. Yes. Love that, um, love that, However, love that, love that. something gets lost to me in the draping of the curtain. Yeah, you're right. It's the draping of the rainbow that is a little thrown, throwing me off a little bit. Like, why is it in the front and why is it gathered around the wrist? I feel like in order for it to feel a little bit more dramatic and a bigger statement, that it should drag. It should have a little bit of like, yes. it should scoot behind her or pull around her feet. Something. Especially with that beautiful gold bodice. Yes. It needs a little finessing, but overall I think that she looks great. I think she looks very, very tootable. Toot. Yes. Yes. So the next group of looks is all unicorn. First girl, Shea Coulee. I live. Uh, yeah. I didn't even die in Resurrect. I'm just living in it. I am so present for this. Like, I am here for this fucking look. I love it. I love that it has a little bit of that mythology to it, you know, unicorn realness. And I love that she has decided to go with a fetish. Yes, unicorn. with the harnesses, mm -hmm. it's very like bridles on a horse. Mm -hmm. Even though pony play. It's yeah, pony play. Even though unicorns aren't really known for being ridden, but I'm sure this bitch wants you to ride. Her. Oh. And her skin just looks it's outstanding. Uh, yeah. Shea Coulee has pulled out some stops here. And I like it. And I live it. I love it. I give it a... <laughs> Next we have Sasha Velour. What is she giving here? This is kind of like a... Clydesdale. Clydesdale. Clydesdale horse hoof. That's her new drag name. Clydesdale Horse Hoof. Oh, that's your drag name. <laughs> I thought it was Big Brown. Big Brown Clydesdale Horse Hoof. The outfit is sick as fuck. Is she like maybe a wing, like a Pegasus meets a uh, unicorn? I feel like this outfit gives me like Renaissance pleasure It's fair. very it's Renaissance very pleasure Renaissance. Fair. I don't know how I feel about the white fur and the white unicorn parts with this. Like, if you, okay, but if you looked at this, would you say, ooh, that's a sexy unicorn. That's a unicorn, and you're giving me unicorn. Mm -hmm. Or would you think you're, she's more of like some weird, like ethereal tree creature? I think it's like unicorn, but like the unicorn didn't know what to wear that day, so he just threw on a, a Ren fair costume. I don't know. The so, outfit is stunning. It's just the styling for me is a little funny. I don't understand how the white pieces go. The boot. The boot. All right, next we have Alexis Michelle. She is built, padded, like a horse. It's not exciting to me. And what I'm really getting tired of is the predictability of her drag. And I dare I say that, but like, it's just kind of like, oh, look at me, rainbow, rainbow, unicorn, unicorn. There's never really a twist to it. It's just kind of like, it's not that it's a bad outfit. I think she looks fantastic in it. But it just kind of looks like, oh, of course she's a unicorn. Of course she's a unicorn, because that's what the assignment was. So for me, it is a boot. Okay. 
Okay. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's I agree. I agree. It's a boot, and it looks like she's got those like little things that hold your your bed up, like the pins that you get a Bed Bath and Beyond if you want to lift your bed up a little bit, so you can. Oh, put, that's yeah. smart. That is smart, but not for this. I, I don't know. It's a, it's a boot. It's a boot for me. I just think it's too predictable, and it's not. It's not special. Next, we have peppermint. There's something about this I really like. Me too. And then there's a lot too. of that I really don't. Me, me, me too. And I and right now in my mind, in my head, I'm having a bit of a battle, a war with my inner voices right now because I know I, a lot of people who've been going through that lately. I like this outfit. There are things in it that I find unnecessary and actually ruin the outfit. The body part, like the cape mm -hmm. and the headpiece with like the little like things coming out of it. Brilliant. I love it. This is the kind of thing that I was waiting for to see. I like to see imaginative things. But I think that the rest of it, like the hands and the feet, were an afterthought. And it doesn't do what she's wearing above any justice. But I think that the pieces are so strong and that they are so different and uh, unpredictable that I'm going to give this a two. Okay, two. Give it two. Last but not least in our unicorn looks is Trinity Taylor. Stop with the fucking mucklocks, people. If you go on season 10 of RuPaul's Drag Race and I see you in a mucklock, I will read you all season. If anybody ever wears a fucking mucklock on their foot again or a little leg warmer with fur on it, I'm going to read you and therefore dismiss you from any of your fashion choices because I think you're, you're absolutely just regurgitating old Stop it. No more. This is a boot. I've had a lot of coffee today. <laughs> I love Trinity. I love you, girl. You're gonna be watching this. Trinity, I love you. But I just can't with a mucklock. Yeah, I don't. It's not even a mucklock. It's just a, 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 it's a bath mat around your, your calves. Boot. Boot. It's a furry mucklock boot. How boot. many times do we have to boot mucklocks? And the third section, we have the village people. Eleganza. Eleganza. Extravaganza. The challenge here was this was a costume that was impromptu. Like it was very like, here's a pile of shit, give us a look. One of the design challenges. Our first girl up is Shea Coulee. She looks fucking sickening. I, I love, love this. I love that she's made construction work look like a glamorous vocation. Look at her. She's got a fucking train. She's got the hard hat. She's got the little white singlet tank top. She's ready to build the house, honey. She's ready to build the house, fly the house through a tornado, and drop it on the fucking witch. Boom. I love this. I think she looks great. I think she's completely done a fantastic job out of, you know, whatever she found. And I think yeah. this is a toot. Fuck yeah. Oh God. Toots. 100%, I love it. Next we have Sasha Velour. And Sasha Velour is the cowgirl. See, this is one of my things that I really love about Sasha Velour is that she'll kind of take her own way of translating something yeah. and just do her own version of it. This is not my, how I would do cowboy, but this is how Sasha would, and that's what makes this look so special. And you look at this and you go, cowboy. Yeah. Takes you a second. It could also be a little bit like Forest Ranger, Ooh. you know? Sasha Velour reminds me of those like really eccentric old ladies, older women who are just of kind of- Of a certain age. They're usually over 50 and they're just like, just so stylish and so incredibly unique and eccentric. And that's what Sasha gives me. And I give this look a two. Two. Mm -hmm. Next we have Alexis Michelle. And Alexis Michelle is the Native American. What do we think? I. Th I think that was something like this. Mm -hmm. You have to be very, very careful. Well, it is touchy, but you know, it's on very my touchy. I, came, I did it. I've done the Indian chief thing, and it is touchy. But you know what? It is the character, though. And it, and the, and it is. Mm -hmm. And when you are asked to do something, go for it. Looking at this, I see bits and pieces that are Native American. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the bow on the head. That's what I like about it. I don't like that. It looks like she's going here. Look at my clutch. There's a cactus on my clutch. Mm -hmm. This clutch is very southwestern. Mm -hmm. Look at my clutch. I think it could have been a little, a little more deconstructed, uh -huh. a little less like, "Ooh, look at me." You know, there's something missing. I completely. You know what it. it's missing? What? Coolness. It's just not cool. It's just like, meh. It's missing coolness. You're, yeah, it's just, it's just missing the cool. It's not fucking cool. It's not man. cool. Like if I saw her, I'd be like, "Oh, that's sweet." 
I wouldn't be like, oh, that's cool. You know what I mean? Like, I need it to be cool, and it's just not cool. So I'm gonna give this a hoot. Next, we have Trinity Taylor as the cop. It is an interpretation. It doesn't have to be literal. In fact, I've been screaming, hemming and hawing, yawning and uh, whining and ranting about people who do things predictably. This is very unpredictable. It is a really strange yet glamorous take on law enforcement. I love it. Bitch, if this I bitch showed it. up and told me to drop my weapon, I would drop it. Oh, where'd you drop it? I'd drop it like it's right hot. between her cheeks. Yeah, yeah, sure. I really love this. Mm -hmm. I love the cop accessories mm -hmm. as just like a cluster, like a little shoulder piece. Mm -hmm. And then that huge visor with that. Riot gear. I, mm -hmm. I love it. I love, love it, it, love it, love it. Yeah, me love too. It. I think, like I said, it is very unpredictable. It's very well done. She looks beautiful in it. And it's a toot. Toot. That's a toot. And last but not least, we have Peppermint as Leather Lady. Leather Lady. Not to be confused with Leathery Lady. Um, mm -hmm. I love that the chaps look like a dress. Does, okay, do you I see, see that? Yeah, I see that. That's so quite it's, smart. I mm -hmm. like that little touch of femininity. Yeah, it's like, femininity. A, sl it's like a slutty culotte. <laughs> Which is your, your new drag name. My slutty culotte. <laughs> I really like this look. Yeah. I really, too. really, really like it. Mm -hmm. I think it's fun. Mm -hmm. And sexy. Titillating. Mm. Nipple twitching. Ass flogging. Trend alert! Gay. Gay as fuck. Pride parade, float, just gay, 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 gay. Happy Pride, gay people! Our, Our top, top two of the week is... Shay Kulea! Shay Kulea! Yeah! Shay Kulea? Shay, she turned it out. Every single look at the ball. Yes, tens across the board, whoa, Shay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Boop, 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 Shay. Ka, 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 ka. Gay. Tune into VH1 on Friday nights for RuPaul's Drag Race season nine. Do not forget to tune in Saturday morning to WOW Presents and check out a brand new episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Untucked. Don't forget, Don't forget to subscribe to, to Wow Presents! <laughs> <laughs>